Hello everyone and welcome to another video of me, Sean, aka The Legendary Noodles. Today I'm going to explain you guys how to refill the windscreen washer fluid at a Ford Focus. Step 1 is unlocking the car. In step 2, we are going to open the hood. So Ford is a bit of a special one because for as far as I know, all the other cars do it with a lever, which is positioned at the driver's switch, which you got to pull to unlock the hood. Opening the hood is with a lever found under the hood. So it's you gotta do two things. Now with Ford, it does it with a lock behind the logo. It's a bit of the same uh, way to do it because first you gotta turn your key to the left, unlocking the hood, and to open it you gotta turn to the right, which I will show you in this small video. So first left, then right. And again, close up first to the left, you gotta put your fingers between it and then to the right to open it. The banner rod is placed on the left side, which you will see right here. So now we're going to locate the reservoir. Now, um, it's pretty easy because all the fluids are on the outside of the motor compartment. The only fluid which isn't is the engine fluid or the engine oil which is right there on top of the engine. Now we're going to see where the washer fluid is and this is the first one. Uh, this, is, this isn't. Uh, it's the engine coolant which you can see at the temperatures. Now the second one has a logo and power steering fluid on it so neither is that the windscreen fluid. Now the third one has a brake looking thing on it so that's the uh, brake fluid and of course it's this little blue one uh, with the windscreen on it now we're gonna add the windscreen washer fluid and there are a couple of ways to do it but I'm gonna do it with a funnel um, you can do it with other things that so we can go die hard and try to pour it in like that but uh, we're not gonna do that because I don't want to spill too much now, um, I'm going to show you the easiest way to pour it. You can do it the normal way, you can do it sideways, but you can also do it like that. But today we're going to do it this way because this is the easiest way to do it because the way to the funnel is the smallest. If you do it like that, you're probably going to over pour it. So now we're just going to um, refill it. Um, there isn't really a marker on it, so you just got to fill it until you see the fluid or until it's pouring over. Um, you don't want that last one but that'll probably happen because before you know it it all splashes out. It's pretty normal. So we're just gonna fill this up and that will do it. As you can see uh, I filled it to the top. Um, of course I spilled a bit and that is the reason why you don't have to be afraid when you see a puddle of liquid. This is pretty normal. So now the final thing that we have to do is test it because there can always be a, a problem with, with it. But this time it ain't. So uh, that was this. Um, you, you see that it works and I hope I helped you guys a lot. So if I did, please leave a like and subscribe. And then I hope to see you guys in the next video. See you next time, guys.